I'm Carly Lisa with Achilles Mazda, and today we put this beautiful beast in our showroom. So I'm going to show it to you, and we're going to check out the hot new 2016 Mazda 6 GT Tech Package. Oh my lord! <laughs> it's an awesome looking car. We've got this great emblem here that looks super fantastic for a reason. In one of my other videos, I called it the Batman features because it has lasers and radars and all that kind of nonsense. It's some wicked technology in this car. And we're going to take a closer look at the signature grille illumination and these hot new headlights. So stay tuned. I've got some great stuff coming. We're going to start with an exterior tour of the changes to this awesome, fantastic vehicle. And of course, the most noticeable is the front grille. So they've done a few changes here. If you notice, they have the more horizontal lines and they've taken out, there was like a black piece here. So it makes it feel more prominent. It also has a sheen to it, like kind of like a gunmetal finish to the bars on there. So it really stands out that much more. And we also see an update to our fog lights, a little bit of a different shape, and they're also LED. And our headlamp here, which is the star of the show, I think, has this new signature look that Maz has designed, and I think it has such great presence on the road. And we're gonna take a look at those. I'm gonna shut the lights off just for you so that we can really check it out. Our wheels, look just like crazy they're like a liquid kind of silver i don't know think of like um uh what was it arnold schwarzenegger in terminator and there was that liquid guy that kept coming back and he wouldn't die that's like what these wheels are made out of like it just looks so crazy smoking hot in person it's ridiculous so think of that guy you're driving on Terminator wheels. You've got some Batman for each features at the front, and we've got some other wicked stuff. Year over in year, this car. 2015, 2016. Just that tail light gets a little update, and then this being GT model, we also have a little fin spoiler there on the top. But what we need to do right now is get inside. So inside, this is the new interior with the black and dark. I think they called it dark auburn accents so now that it's all cleaned up it looks fairly good you can actually see the difference between the two colors we have some upgrades here with this more um, finishing touches on our knobs there our window controls brings it up a little bit we also have down here power seat fully functional but you also have a memory function so if you like to have that you're gonna want to do this car all right and in here we have more leather accents, traction control, tire pressure monitoring. This is our blind spot monitoring system and lane departure warning. Most of the other systems are contained within uh, the dash here too. This is, this used to be where the navigation card goes, but now it's a handy little storage tray or lip gloss or I don't know, whatever, little roll of money. <laughs> All right, so now that we're inside, you can see that they added the little bright finish to your steering wheel here. It looks very nice. There's our radar cruise control, so you can set your speed and your distance from the vehicle in front of you. Turn it off, turn it on. Beautiful, very nicely done, so it's not too much going on. Very well balanced. Look here like on that. your display, and if we filter through here, you've got your fuel economy calculator and a more digital look to that because when you open the door it tells you exactly what door is open and probably gives you some more engine prompts I would presume as well thanks to our new Mazda Connect system this car you can program so many things and there's a few new things that I need to look into with you guys and show you how they work like this distance recognition support system I really this is new to me. I'm not really sure what it is, but I'm going to find out and then there will be a video. And they've added 
smart brake support, which is an additional system to the smart city brake support, which I need to look into because I'm wondering how that works. But you can actually program it even more so now, which is crazy. This is why you have the lasers. So your lasers are up here and behind your uh, mirror there. And that is what works your smart city brake support system because when it like notices that you're about to like approach somebody or hit somebody then it would alert you it used to be between 3 and 30 kilometers an hour but I'm wondering if they've adjusted that which I'll find out blind spot monitoring and lane departure warning you can program how those things work as well fantastic stuff we've got our standard stuff vehicle stuff that you can program you know your standard door locks lighting which has this new feature which I've seen a couple of times coming home and leaving home which yes I will get you that answer on how that works very soon standard database stuff and that's really it for in your little menu here now this vehicle does have the active driving display it is the same as the Mazda 3 it just housed right here on top amongst that little bit of dust and I can't turn it on right now because I can't start the vehicle because we're inside the showroom but it is the same awesome stuff applications is the same and here we go radio functions look exactly the same but we have this great built-in system I love what they've done it looks very luxurious you get better visibility because it's not your dash doesn't come up so high they did an excellent job building that in and here we have some more dark auburn accents which carry into our center console here which is the most comfortable center console i've seen thus far because no matter where you sit very nice and comfortable and our auto climate control heated seats cd players tucked away we have our electronic parking brake HMI commander system, that there, and in here, USBs and all that good stuff. Oh, our little carpet. Fix our little carpet there. There we go. <laughs> and this is for your navigation card in here. You just have to plug it in, and there you go. All right. Home link mirror so you can program your garage door openers, auto dimming, fantastic stuff. And leather everywhere. <laughs> Very nice leather seats. And see, you can see the difference. Very nice looking. Very subtle, but very nice. So there you have it. We're in the cabin of the 2016 GT model. Now I'm going to show you what those lights look like those wicked LED lights. These would so be your on. signature daytime running lights with that new LED look. It looks so sharp. And then here's that signature grill illumination. Like this part is illuminated all the way underneath and it looks crazy awesome. Like I cannot explain it. It looks like super, oh my goodness. When you see this car on the road, People are going to wonder what's chasing them. <laughs> that is wicked. Okay, let me turn on the full lights. So here we have the full lights with your new LED fog lights. And that signature grill illumination. It looks super good. and exceptionally bright. And there's your high beams. So it looks like that. And here we have the new signature taillights. I'm not gonna end it right here. I've got some pictures coming up for you. So here we have that headlight again. Beautiful. And the signature grill coming up. 
I find that the pictures tend to turn out a little better than um, some of the film does. I, I don't know what it is about the lighting or whatnot, but the pictures tend to turn out very, very nicely. So I thought I'd just throw a few in there for you. And I've also got the interior lighting coming up. So here's the interior lighting, very nice, and a short video clip. So you can see how that looks. It's it looks more dim than it does in person. Like it's it's a nice gentle illumination and you can see where everything is. And it's not overly done. Simple, tasteful, just enough. It's very, very nice. So that's me. I'm Carly Lisa. And this was the 2016 Mazda 6 GT tech package. Yes.